so for today's video, I'm going to show you guys my current favorites. So it will range from skincare, makeup products, and fashion bits. So to start off, my first favorite skincare product is the Cetaphil um, Oily Skin Cleanser. I have been using this cleanser for a very long time. What I like about this is it breaks down my makeup and also it doesn't dry out my oily skin and I like it because it doesn't irritate my skin at all so which is pretty good and to cleanse my face I use Olay Pro X cleansing brush now what I find is that when you just wash your face with your hands it doesn't really um, get rid of the makeup so a brush or any facial cleanser brush is pretty good because it gets into the skin and actually breaks down the leftover makeup that our hands can't clean. So um, I got this one about three years ago from Farmers and I'm a bit sad because I was trying to find the replacement heads and I couldn't find them anymore. I have to put different heads online because so it has two buttons, one is for on and the second button is to adjust the speed so it rotates so that's on a, that's on the first and then if you press it again this it spins faster so I like the second setting because it actually gets into my skin so yeah third one is to moisturize my face now I have been on the hunt for a moisturizer that has SPF and the ones that I've tried in the past may be either drugstore or high-end. It would not work into my skin. I have no idea why. Like I would get this rashes or my face would swell for days and I have to just stick an aloe vera gel which is good but then it does not really have this yet so I tried looking online and I saw that Cetaphil was carrying this um, range which is the derma control moisturizer perfect for acne combination skin so it has an SPF 30 and I find that this is the only moisturizer with SPF that works great for my skin. It, it has quite a thick consistency but it doesn't leave like that white cast on your face like other SPF do. So I love this stuff and I have been using this for the past year or so. So that's pretty cool. And the last skincare items that I will share with you guys is for the lips. As you all know, or I might have mentioned it before, that I do suffer from chapped lips. So to soothe that, I have been using the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. This stuff is the bomb. Like I have been using this for years maybe four years to be exact and I've only gone through three tubes of this mainly because the other two I lost them or misplaced them but this one I got this about mid last year and it's still going pretty strong like I still have a ton in here and you only need a tiny bit so yeah and I also use this on my dry cuticles since it's winter my hands tend to get really dry so this is my favorite like I would highly suggest you try this and moving on to the makeup bits my let's start with the primer so the primer that I have been loving at the moment is the Dr. Brand Pores No More Pore Finer Primer but anyway this primer I fully thought that I wouldn't like it because it leaves kind of a greasy consistency. It has the same um, texture as the Benefit Professional but it has that tea tree kind of scent so if you don't like that I don't think you would love this. But anyway this does a pretty good job in keeping my face matte and also um, filling in my pores. At first I thought it didn't really work but I keep on using this 
I fell in love. Like I have been using this for the past two and a half months, consistent every single day, and I only need a really tiny bit. And this one, I would last me for a long time. And for foundation, I went back to the to the OG foundation that I used to use. So I went back to my Mac Pro Longwear Foundation. This has a great coverage. It feels very light in my skin, and it also um, lasts pretty long. Like I'm wearing it today, and I feel like I don't wear any makeup on. Pretty good, and um, I actually prefer this more than the Estee Lauder Double Wear, mainly because this does not leave my skin that really tight feeling, and also Mac has the best color match selection. That's like my main problem with foundations in general. Like I have a really olive yellow golden undertone, and it's quite hard for me to find a really um, good foundation that will match me. So I went back to Mac, and of course it didn't fail me. And I actually have like four of these laying around in the house empty ones of course this is my fifth one that's pretty good and to set my face I like using a translucent powder so the one that I'm currently using is the face of Australia translucent powder um, it says translucent but I feel like it kind of leaves a very um, a tint a tint of pink on my face but I don't really mind because it sits my under eyes really good and also my t-zone like I would use it with a beauty blender pat it in leave it for a bit and then my face will be matte for like six seven hours which is pretty weird because I usually would go really greasy and oily at four hours so yeah this is pretty good and I like how big this tub comes with I think I only paid about $10 Australian with this for this one yeah I've had it for a long time so I'm not I might actually need to purchase a new one since I've been using this for every day and for the lips you guys there's no surprise I love and I've always loved the combination of the Essence Lip Liner and Honey Bun or which is that one right there and my MAC Velvet Titty These two are just perfect for everyday like perfect brownie kind of everyday color for me and at the moment I'm wearing a sore lip liner with Velvet Teddy so it kind of looks different but yeah Velvet Teddy all the way I might need to purchase a new one because I love this lipstick so much every time I'm wearing a new lipstick this is always what I'm wearing with a combination of the lip liner good so on to the fashion favorites which I rarely ever do because I'm not really one that is into fashion if you know what I mean like I'm more into like a comfort kind of girl and I would mainly wear like greys black and white that kind of thing I know I'm pretty boring but now that it's winter I really like comfy casual kind of look with, with a bit of edge so my first favorite is the cotton on sleeves jumper and I'm wearing one right now as you can see these jumpers are so good like they're really comfortable they keep me warm and they're only $20 right now because they're going on sale but when I bought my first one I got it for two for fifty, which isn't, which isn't so bad. So I got this one that I'm wearing, and I got I got this this one, which says USA Team, and then I I have another black one. I'm actually looking 
to into purchasing a couple more because I love them. And the next one is a pair of you know the cool leather jackets. The next one is a leather jacket and this is what it looks like. It has that stitching up here and down here as well, the zip. And I just like how this fits. And this one is from Topshop. I actually purchased this one when I went to Bali because it's quite cheap over there. So I really love how bad as I look in this leather jacket and it also keeps me warm and I love how you can dress it up or down depending on your mood so what I like to wear with this is a jumper leggings and my converse which I will show you soon and that's basically me on everyday basis but yeah and the other leather jacket that I'm obsessed with is this bomber jacket I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this, but this is what it looks like. So this is a bummer. This is the bummer jacket from Hurley. And I love this that it kind of looks like a varsity jacket that athletes would wear. So I feel really athletic with this. So it has a white sleeve, which I love. And also that soft leather kind of feel. So you could also dress this up and down but I'm usually on casual when I wear this so I love this one. And the last fashion item that I will show you guys is a pair of Converse in white. I got the one in leather simply because I find that it will be easier for me to clean because as you all know white um, sneakers are so hard to maintain so I love this one. It, it pretty much just goes with everything, like everyone has it and if you don't, I'm just telling you man, I think you need to get this because these are actually very versatile, like you can wear it with a dress, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with pants, you can wear it with anything. So I've been rocking this since I got them and I love this. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching my current favourites. And I hope you enjoy and maybe if you have tried or used, or used any of these favorites, just let me know. And yeah, have a great day. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more updates and talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello beautiful, how are we today? So for today's video, I'm going to show...